Katherine Langford made her debut as a star of 13 Reasons Why, but now she's putting her good friend and the show's producer Selena Gomez in the hot seat to answer her most burning questions. And according to Selena, 2018 is all about making herself a priority. Selena Gomez has been hard at work behind the camera, executive producing the Netflix original series 13 Reasons Why, but the roles have just been reversed as she sat down for Harper's Bazaar for an in-depth interview conducted by the show's very own Katherine Langford. Sel opened up about relationships, her ongoing battle with depression and anxiety, and what she feels she missed out on in her early years. But speaking of relationships, Selena revealed that her most complex one is her relationship with social media. She said, quote, Instagram has given me a voice amid all the noise of people trying to narrate my life for me and allows me to say, hey, I'm going to post this and this is going to take care of those 1,200 stories that people think are interesting but actually aren't and aren't even true. So it empowers me in that way because it's my words and my voice and my truth. One thing that worries her, however, is how much value people her age place on social media, giving everyone a false representation of what's really important. This is one of the main reason Selena has actively had to work on herself over the past few years, as she's been very vocal about dealing with her ongoing struggle with mental health, but has high hopes for 2018. She said, quote, there won't be a day when I'm like, here I am in a pretty dress, I won. I think it's a battle I'm going to have to face for the rest of my life, and I'm okay with that because I know that I'm choosing myself over anything else. I'm starting my year off with that thought. I want to make sure I'm healthy. If that's good, everything else will fall into place. So also revealed that she's not one to set goals because she doesn't want to be disappointed if she doesn't reach them. But don't worry, Selenators, she did say that a new album is in the making. She's just not fully ready, saying when people ask me why, I'm honest about it. It's because I haven't been ready. I mean, point blank, I don't feel confident enough in where my music is yet. If that takes 10 years, then it takes 10 years. I don't care. Right now, I just want to be super intentional with all the things. I'm doing. Catherine then grilled Cell on what she thinks she might have missed out on in her early years, to which Cell replied, I spent probably too much time thinking about how my life could have been, so now I try to just have a sense of gratitude for how it is. I've never wanted to be the kind of person who's like, oh, I wish I had a different life. This is just kind of how it worked out for me. Thankfully, Selena's fans are grateful for the life she does have, which has allowed her to have a voice, connect with people, and do what she loves in the form of art. So if you missed her on the big screen, get ready because because it's been reported that Cell has just been cast to voice an animal in the new live-action Dr. Doolittle movie called The Voyage of Dr. Doolittle, alongside many big names like Tom Holland, Robert Downey Jr., and Emma Thompson, to name a few. So get ready 2018, because Selena is just getting started. But right now, I gotta know all your thoughts on Catherine's interview with Selena and what you found most surprising. So get to talking down here in the comments. And after that, be sure to click right over here to see which movie role Camila Cabello might be snagging and very soon. Thanks for hanging out with me here on Clever News. I'm your host, Drew Dorsey, and I'll see you next time.